Hello, my little beauties. It's David Connolly here from the DC Radio Network at dcradionetwork.com. Your one-stop shop for all talk and stuff like that to do with web development and internet marketing and all that. dcradionetwork.com um, Today we're going to be talking about CRUD, creating, reading, updating and deleting. Now I know that this is not the most exciting topic in the universe, but this is something that you're going to be doing a lot and it's important that we get this right, you know. So let's spend a little bit of time on this. I'll probably break it up into two videos, okay? Now, the goal, you may recall, we've built this little thing here, and it reads some tasks from this database here, okay, from this table here. So the goal is to construct a form so that we can gracefully, easily, and effortlessly add tasks, okay? So uh, let's get straight to it. Now, the first thing I'm going to do, and uh, I would encourage you to do likewise, is let's head on to the config and just make sure, if you could, just make sure that this index page doesn't say index.php. We want nice, clean URLs. And in a previous video, I was showing you how to use HT Access to do that. The other thing is we want to open the autoload file, and we want to load a few helpers. We're going to have the form helper, we're going to have the URL helper, and we're going to have the HTML helper. These will all help us uh, with handling forms and what have you okay so let's do that as well and we're ready to rock so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a nice little link to the top here that says create a new task now this should be super easy for someone of your glorious intelligence so I'm just heading right on up here echo anchor let's go to task we'll send them to create and we'll just say create New task. All right, easy as that. Let's add a couple of little tags here to be super cool. And that's us. So check it out. Easy as that, ready to rock. All right, so when we click this, it takes us here uh, to this, you know, it's trying to load up a method called create. So let's just uh, bring up the tasks controller and we'll add a method called create. All right, now this thing is going to have, it's going to load up, let me see, the tasks module. It's going to have view, sorry, I think it's view file. Is that right? And we're going to load up a form, how about that? Oh gee, sorry, I almost forgot. Echo <laughs> modules run template we're going to load up the two column layout how about that and we'll pass that data across all right so that's all covered in the last video and it's just trying to load up the form okay uh, so let's create a view file called form like so and i'm just going to add in a nice simple form okay so here we go now i'm pasting it in and you're like what that's cheating, but I'm not really cheating, folks. I'm just trying to save time. It's just a very simple form. Look at it. It's really simple, straightforward stuff, you know. So here we are. Now, you can see that we have some error messages on the form. It's trying to read uh, a variable called title and a variable called priority. Now, when you think about forms, you know, here's a form here I'll just bring up a real form it's a real website folks now check it out if I fill out this form here I'm going to make some mistakes okay and when I press submit like so do you see how the form repopulates right that means that this form is actually reading from the post variables can you handle what I'm saying this form is reading the post variables and repopulating according to the post variables. So we can do the same thing here. Let's build a little method called um, function get data from post. And all this is going to do are two fields, remember, are title and priority. So I'm just going to say data title and to move this up 
title equals this input post title true remember the true folks keeps everything nice and secure you know runs it through some security checks and what have you have you ever actually looked at the code that happens when you do that true it's unbelievable I mean it's really tons and tons of code it's really strict you know anyway look at this look how simple that code is all it's doing is it's building up a data array based on the posted variables now if I go to this little create thing here I can say data equals get data from post so it's loading up this it's reading those variables and it's populating the form now it happens to be the case that when you first load up the form like this the posted variables are empty so we have an empty form um, but when we do when we have errors and what have you then it will repopulate it's going to look super cool okay so this form is sending them to submit okay uh, and we can see this from the form itself see how it's going to tasks submit so let's build a method called submit and let's handle the form now let me tell you folks I have the code igniter user guide here and I am so proud to be the guy who sticks to the user guide you know, there are tons of add-ons, you'll see them, you know, people in forums and people here, there and everywhere who have a new bolt-on, a new thing that you add and it does form validation in a super duper way. But you know, folks, we are commercial web developers and we know that as soon as we start adding things on, we are reducing the amount of people who can help us. And that's a disservice to the client and it's a disservice to you because you're creating your own prison cell. So let's just try and stick to the manual. Does that sound cool? All right. So here is the Code Igniter user guide. There's no prospect of this changing. I mean, even if Code Igniter, you're looking in the future and there's a, a new version. There's, it's unlikely that this is going to change radically as far as I can tell. Now, here is a nice piece of code. I actually like this straight from the user guide. And I'm going to use this for the submit thing. Okay. Now, I have this uh, strange way of doing brackets like this, but that's just me being old-fashioned. I would encourage you to stick to the manual, okay, and just ignore this old dog who can't learn new tricks. But this is kind of cool. Now, we don't need to load the helper because we already auto-loaded that, do you remember? And this is quite cool. So all we have to do is run a couple of checks through the posted variables. And again, we get this straight from the user guide. Look at this. It's just fantastic. So I'll take this from the user guide and we're going to do this. Now the first field was title, do you remember that? Okay, so the task title and the next one was priority. All right, like so, priority. Okay, so let's have uh, the title required. Sounds kind of logical to me. Let's give it a minimum length of, how about three? And let's also, as a little security, let's run it through that XSS clean thing. You remember that from the user guide? Keeps everything nice and safe, nice and safe. Uh, with the priority thing, well, I think it's numeric and Let's do the XSS clean thing for that. Actually, let's also do a, a max length of, uh, how about a maximum length of two as well on this? No harm in that. Okay, so that's our validation rules and we are looking cool. Now see if they make an error. Let's load up the create thing again, like so. And if they fill the thing out properly, then let's just, for the moment, we'll just say, well done. And we'll 
leave it at that for the moment. So if they make a mistake, like so, I'm just going to make a mistake here. Submit, it's loading up the form again. How cool is that? And do you see how it's repopulating? It's repopulating folks because we wrote this little get data from post thing here, which is super cool. Now, it would be nice if we had the error messages on the form. Big bus has just gone past. Uh, so let's add those validation errors. So I'm just going to say echo validation errors. And I'm going to go like this, color red. I think we'll have some nice red text here. And we'll do something like that. So check this out. How cool is that? We have the errors and everything all rocking. Look at that again. I'll just show you that it's working. Isn't that fantastic? Okay. And if they fill it out properly, I'm going to fill it out properly. Look. It says, well done, awesome. So uh, let's now consider what do we actually do when they fill it out properly? Well, again, all we have to do is collect that data, but we've already wrote the formula or the, the method for doing that. So I'm just gonna say data equals this, get data from post, and then uh, I'm gonna, uh, well, quick time out. Do you remember in the last video we were talking about the perfect controller and the perfect model? Did you see that in the last video? Do you remember how I was talking about we can just copy some code, paste it in, and we never have to worry about database stuff ever again? Okay, you remember that, okay? So if you look at this controller file, look down here, all of the code that we talked about in the last video is here and ready to rock. Look, all of the database stuff's here. Here's the insert. We've even made it private with this little underscore. Here's update. Look, all the database stuff is here. If I load up the model, look, all of the model stuff ready to go. The only thing we need to change is the table name. Now, that was covered in the last video. If you're wondering where is this code, what does it mean, check out the last video. If you want this code, head on down to davidconnolly.com forward slash HMVC stuff. And down here, you'll see some links and you can just take the code, okay? So, you know, I've added that before the video started just to save time and look at how easy this whole process is going to be. If I go back to the submit thing, uh, we've picked up the data. Now check how easy the insert is. I'm just going to say this, insert, and there we go. All cool. Now I'm just going to redirect back to the tasks page. And that, my friends, is us. Nailed. <laughs> Submit. Uh, and there we go. Look, our task has been added and everything is super cool. If this was a real website, obviously I would have flash data in and it would say you successfully added a task. I would obviously have it looking much nicer than this, but that's basically how uh, this works, you know. And I'm so, oops, I'm so happy to be the guy who sticks to the manual, and I hope that you'll do likewise. I'll see you on the next video. Bye.